Overall, one of the biggest keys I'll say to stay disciplined is starting small. When you first started riding a bike, you most likely needed training wheels, right? You needed assistance, and eventually, you graduated from that, you took the training wheels off, and now you're riding the bike, doing wheelies, all sorts of stuff. So it's the same thing with discipline. What you wanna do is you wanna find a bunch of things to start small with. You know, creating streaks of how many days you've been doing something, having an accountability partner, joining a challenge, or whatever it is that can help you stay disciplined, I recommend you to do it. Because all these little habits and tricks that you do are all gonna compound. I read a book called The Compound Effect and it talks about if you do a bunch of small little things, eventually over time, they're gonna grow into something big. So it's the same thing with being disciplined. Another thing I would say is to give yourself some grace. If you could find one person on this earth who has never made a mistake before, you let me know and I'll delete my channel. Exactly, you're not gonna find that person because it's not real. You know, at the end of the day, we're all gonna make mistakes. I made a mistake yesterday, I made a mistake today, I'm gonna make a mistake tomorrow. But the biggest thing we can do after we make a mistake is hold ourselves accountable, not to a point where we're beating ourselves up and destroying ourselves, nah, because when we do that, all we're doing, we're just adding to the guilt and shame that we already have for folding in the moment. But what you gotta do is you gotta get right back up and you gotta keep going, you gotta keep trying and going again, you gotta be persistent in what you gotta do. I don't care if it's your 500th time doing something, maybe it takes try number 501 for you to finally break through. It's important to forgive yourself, man. I always, I always say this to myself. If God can forgive me for all the wrong I've done in my life, then you can forgive yourself for folding in the moment. Very simple, simple math. So these are just a couple things I just wanted to add in this video on how you can stay more disciplined. But overall, I'll just say the biggest key factor, just seeing the bigger picture and realizing that you're not only being disciplined for yourself, but you're being disciplined for the generations behind you, your family, people who may be watching you online or whatever your situation is, you gotta do it for other people and not just yourself. So that's one way I stay disciplined. I know that if I'm not working out and I come on YouTube looking big and sloppy, y'all not gonna rock with me, man. But y'all most likely rock with me because you know I've been disciplined, I showed my proof. I showed the proof in the pudding. So if I'm not showing the proof in the pudding, yeah, I'm not going to rock with me, man. So that's the one way I use a tool to stay disciplined, right? I use y'all as a tool to stay disciplined. Y'all keep me right. That's just some ways that y'all can stay disciplined. So yeah, man, from this day forward, just make sure you're pushing yourself to stay disciplined no matter what you want to do, whether it's with money, whether it's with food, whether it's with bad habits, good habits, whatever it is, just focus on implementing some of these tips that I displayed in my video to stay disciplined. Here we go. Being disciplined in anything you do is the key to unlocking the life you want. Lock in.